For almost one week, protesters have been rallying against police brutality on the streets of Lexington, and things have remained relatively peaceful. There was an incident of violence on Monday night, though, and two teenagers faced charges. Despite that, leaders say this movement is leading to a lot of positive communication between people of all races and all professions and from all walks of life. LAX 18's Eleanor Buckley has the big story at 6. When you're being yelled at the entire time for almost six or seven hours, you know, it, it puts a toll on your body, not, you know, mentally and physically. And although the long nights may wear on Lexington's police force, Sergeant Donnell Gordon says he understands the protesters' anger. He's upset, too. The, the best part is, is that when it all dies down, when people are actually stop the screaming, stop the yelling, and we get that moment to where we can actually communicate, we lift our shields up, uh, lift our face mask up, and we begin talking, that's when, it's, that's when you finally, finally see something special. That's when you see the progress of moving forward. But the progress gets drowned out when protests turn violent, says Gordon. That's what happened on Monday night. Two teenagers were arrested after police say 19-year-old Kelbert Wilson and one other suspect jumped on another citizen's car. Five people were inside that car, including three children. This video given to us by the police shows the suspects involved. Police say they broke a window of the vehicle by repeatedly striking it with a skateboard. The driver of the vehicle now has a swollen eye and her husband has a concussion. So police are now asking for the public's help in locating the third suspect. That when something like that happens, when you have individuals that have the take away from the protest, the conversation the next day, it's, it's not about the protest. It's about these individuals that were messing up. So with that in mind, you know, these, the, these leaders of organizing the protest needs to have that in mind to make sure that the individuals involved in the protest aren't taken away from the message. And although this one incident did happen on Monday night, things have remained pretty peaceful in Lexington. April Taylor, who's helped organize several of these protests, says she is working with younger protesters to keep things peaceful. And their message is to remain united and conflict free. I think some young people are just more uh, full of rage and needing to express that. And so um, there have been some young people who maybe have needed to tone it down just a little bit. Um, and so we're trying to work with those young people and teach them ways um, that maybe are not so insightful to express that. And when the walls come down, moments like this can happen where two women, a protester, and a police officer embrace. You want a hug? Yes. Come on. I want a hug. Yes. That's what we need more of. In Lexington, Eleanor Buckley, LEX 18 News.